um, debating. Uh, first of all, what is debating? Debating is a kind of competition. It's an argument competition. So debating doesn't just mean talking about something. In a debate, you have two sides. The two sides need to argue against each other. And one side is usually the winner. And there are various reasons for debating. Um, first of all, debating will help you argue better. You will know better why you have opinions, why you think a certain way, and you'll be able to persuade people better for what you think to do what you think is the right thing to do. Um, it can also make you think better. Um, everybody has opinions. Debating will help you to understand your opinions and know where they come from. And also it will help you to understand other people's opinions and to know why they think what they think. And this will help you communicate better. Um, it will also be a way of learning things. Uh, we can find out lots of information. We can find out about things we didn't know. And um, also it's a, it's a kind of game. So debating, we can have fun through debating. It's also a, a cultural, I think there's no Japanese word for debating. And the idea of debating is, is, is a Western idea. This is the Houses of Parliament in, um, in England, um, in the UK. So it's over here. And um, as you can see, there, there are two sides to the house. Um, and the government is on one side, the opposition is on the other side. So what tends to happen is someone says, hey, I have an idea, and the people on this side all have this idea. Then the people on this side said, no, that's a terrible idea, we don't want to do this. Then, no, no, it's a very good idea, we should do this. No, 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 terrible idea, bad idea, let's not do that. So there's the way that politics works often in, especially in the UK, in other Western countries, it's very, there are two sides and people are always trying to push their side or push against from the other side. So it's it's something about Western culture. Um, and this is the plan then. What we're going to do is, first of all, we're going to try and find a proposal. Proposal is also known as a motion or a resolution. A proposal is a statement and we then have two teams. One team is for and the other team is against. So one team agrees with the proposal, the other team disagrees with the proposal. Uh, we then need to prepare, each team needs to work to prepare their arguments, prepare their evidence, and then we can debate. This is the basic plan. And I have a few examples of debate topics and a few examples of proposals, which I'm just going to show you now. Um, here are three topics, um, environment, smoking, and the English language. And right now I'm just going to show you, let's, let's, let's talk about, let's, let's talk about the environment today. Um, so here are some proposals about the environment then. Uh, just have a look at these. What I want you to do first is just think about whether you agree or disagree. So are you for or against each of these proposals? Um, the first one is uh, supermarkets must pay fines for food waste. Uh, next one, factory emissions cause acid rain. Next one, penguins are cooler than polar bears. Next one, um, all vehicles should be electric by 2030. Next one, carbon dioxide causes global warming. Uh, next one, um, every new building must have solar panels. Next one, uh, we should protect the environment. Um, next one, global warming is a Chinese hoax. Next one, uh, manufacturers must pay a plastic tax. And finally, 
um, oil company executives should be shot. Bang. Uh, please go and have a think. Um, are you for or against? And um, there's usually no correct answer. for With a debate proposal, there is no correct answer for or against. Uh, there may be reasons, there should be reasons, so as well as um, you being for or against, could you think about reasons why? Why are you for? Um, why are you against? And there are often many correct reasons. So please just go away and have a think about those, and then um, I'll see you back here soon. So we've thought about these proposals, and... Um, We've thought about whether we're for or against. What I'd like you to think about next is, are these good or bad proposals? If we were going to have a debate, which which do you think is the best one to debate? And which is, I wonder which is the worst one? And um, more generally, of these, I just showed 10 proposals, of these 10 proposals, which ones are good, which of these proposals are good in general, and which ones are bad, which proposals are not good, and why are the proposals that are not good, not good. Um, I'd like you to just go away and think about this again. I'll just give you an example, I'll just give you a couple of examples. Um, for example, um, e.g. means for example, uh, supermarkets should pay fines for food waste. Um, I think this is probably a good a good proposal. It's probably a good proposal to debate. The next one, um, factory emissions cause acid rain. Uh, I think this is a bad proposal. This is a fact. It's we can analyse what happens to the emissions that come out of factories, and sure enough. They end up in clouds, and the clouds cause rain, and factory emissions do cause acid rain. This is a fact. There's no point in debating facts. So that's a reason that, that, that makes this one a bad debate proposal. Um, I'd like you next to have a look at the other ones and decide for each one, is it good or is it bad? And if it is bad, why is it bad? Just to remind you what the proposals are. Um, penguins are cooler than polar bears. All vehicles should be electric by 2030. Um, carbon dioxide causes climate change. Uh, every new building must have solar panels. Uh, we should protect the environment. Global warming is a Chinese hoax. Uh, manufacturers must pay a plastic tax and uh, oil company executives should be shot. Bang. Please go away and, and have a think and please decide which of these are bad, which of these are good. And when you've decided, I'll see you soon. Welcome back. So, which ones of these were good, which one of these were bad? Um, well, let's see, here are some bad proposals. Here are some of the bad proposals. Um, penguins are cooler than polar bears. I think when you're talking about what is cool, you're talking about personal taste. And if you think something is cool, then it's cool. And if somebody else thinks it's cool, it's cool. You're both right. Uh, it's not really something you can debate about. Um, carbon dioxide Carbon dioxide causes climate change. Um, this is also established scientific fact. Uh, we may want to go through the scientific fact, but it is established science that carbon dioxide causes climate change. Um, next one, um, we should protect the environment. I think this is... Um, I think everyone agrees with this. I don't think there's really a debate. Nobody is saying, hey, we should destroy the environment. Nobody is really saying that. Um, this is a bit too vague, really. It's The question is more, how, how should we protect the environment? What's the best way of doing it? Um, and similarly, the last one is, um, I 
think nobody agrees with this. I don't think we would have... For a debate, remember, we need a team. We need two teams. Uh, one team is for, one team is against. If we can't get together a team, if everybody is in the for team, we don't have a debate because there's no one in the against team. Or similarly, if everybody is against, we can't have a debate. Um, so what I'd like, I'd like you to do for your homework then later is think about um, a topic. Think of one topic and then please create five proposals on your topic. And um, good luck. Just a quick recap of what a good proposal is. We just looked at some of the proposals before which were not good and I hope this will help you to choose good proposals. Uh, a good proposal must be controversial. So controversial means it splits people into for or against. Not everybody is for, not everybody is against. Um, if they are then it's not good. The proposals must be clear um, we have to understand precisely what the proposals mean. Uh, if we don't understand what the proposals mean, uh, they're not they're not so good. Um, next, it should be interesting. Make sure you choose it. Don't choose a boring proposal, please. And next, finally, another point with a proposal is the proposal should be advocating change. It should be suggesting something different, something new, suggesting we do something not the same way we do things now. If you want things to stay the same, you don't need to have a debate. Things will stay the same. Debating is about doing things differently and about finding new information and new ideas. Um, so basically there are there are two kinds of proposals that usually we will think of, usually we'll debate two different kinds of proposals. One of them is what's called a policy proposal and this is something like um, smoking should be allowed at 18 or the government should. So it's about about rules, about what, what the government should decide, what the university should decide, what the teacher should decide, for example. Um, that's a policy debate. The other kind of debate that we'll often think of is a value debate. So, for example, football is better than baseball. Um, so, please, uh, off you go. Go back and, um, if you are not sure about your answers from before, please go back and, um, and fix them. And start thinking about a topic. One topic, please. Try and think of different topics to the other people. If you hurry, you can write down any topic and any proposal. If you leave it, there may be several, and I don't want you to write the same topic or the same proposal as other people. Uh, good luck, and I'll see you later.